I know what you think. How did that take him so long? Well, work, kids, wife. I have been detecting, but I'm not making any videos of it. This particular field we have had for about 10 years. I think I've been on it once. We have found some relics on it, but not much. So it's finally time to give it a, a proper go and uh, you'll see what we'll find. Enjoy. Well, we out again. Me and my two friends. We've been at it for about half an hour. I've dug a lot of junk, um, but I just got the, the small thing. Iron Age fibula brooch. Just flip the camera around. Iron Age fibula brooch, small, knackered, but still a great find. This field has been plowed for about two months ago, and it's, uh, in spite of what it looks, pretty okay to walk in. So, see what come up. This small Iron Age fibula brooch dates back to the 550s. It was used as a safety pin to hold together your clothes. This is a very small example. Not very pretty, not very ornate, but I'm glad I had it. Well, this field is known for producing a lot and a lot of relics. So I thought I was on a relic hunt today, but that looks like a coin. Possibly medieval. Oh my gosh, that's thin. Yep, that's a hammered coin. Two shilling, I think. Hammered silver. Yeah. I thought they were supposed to say two shilling. Looks like an 1600s Danish coin. Hmm. Let me get some water. Hmm. I bet it's. Uh Looks like a 1677, but can't, can't see the date. Well, it's a silver coin. I'm really happy with that. You can see the shield with three lions. Just freeze the frame for one second here. As you can see on the right hand side, it says Christian, and that would be Christian V. So, this indeed is a 1677, one of the most common hammered coins in Denmark. Well, we just did that part of the field down there. We went all the way around over from there. I can't show you too much. I just wanted to go all the way up here to uh, see what was to be found up here, but I just made an incredible find. 
Uh, I don't think I've found more than one or two in my detecting career. Silver denarii, Roman silver, in excellent condition. Wow. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Wow. That is so cool. Just gonna give it some water and I'll, um, I'll get right back to you. Oh, that is so cool. I know nothing about these. So I have to make a bit of research to find out who it is. What does it say? He's quite a handsome fella. S A R T R I A. Hmm. Oh, this is wild. Roman silver. Not that big a mystery after all, because it's all there on the coin. Emperor Trajan Hadrian. He ruled from 117 to 136. So that's a pretty old coin, and one of the best ones I've found ever. Oh well. It always seems like I just need to get my my lunch break and then the finds starts to come to me and uh, today's none exceptionaris the Roman uh, denarii silver denarii just there fibula brooch possible silver right here this is turning out to be quite the day no hurries, I'm on vacation, life is good, on to the next. Well, and then my phone died, so uh, this will have to be done without the live video. This is a Dupsko, it would have looked something like this. Uh, it is a sword sheath reinforcement, so that it will prevent the tip of the sword to go through the sheath. I also have this medieval buckle. Still with the needle on it. That's pretty nice. I also have this. Looks old, but I don't know what it is. 
So it's going to the museum and they will find out. If you know what it is, then please type it below. Well, that's it. That's all I got for you from this trip. Uh, I hope to get out soon again and hopefully make some content for you. See you on the next one.